Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, this literally does not work. So, I am actually leaving Home Depot. I was actually looking in at the price of 2x4s because they dropped by 55 cents. 55 cents a 2x4. They're still sky high, but that's a lot better. And right now, I'm actually headed over to my therapist, okay? Two weeks ago today, I had my leg scoped, okay? This is what's crazy to me. Um, I know this is not what you tuned in for, but I just want to give you something here. Let me just set the camera here for a second, okay? Let's see if you'll stay there. Hold on. Okay. This knee right here, two weeks ago, I had an orthoscope done to my meniscus where they took half of it out. Cleaned this sucker out two weeks ago. Look at this. Ah! Look at that. I could throw shot put like I used to. Look at that. Look at that. Look, look at that. That knee two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Okay? Two weeks ago. Today. It has been scoped. I got more movement out of it than I had because it was a cleanup surgery. The doctor went in there, he took out some of the bone spurs, some of the bone spurs that were in there, cleaned that up. My meniscus was shredded. He, this is his quote, shredded. Meaning it was like mop ends. He said there was a flap, a flap of it. And that flap would wedge itself, you know, kind of get folded over and wedge between the bones, which when the bones, when that happens, would lift the bones up and make it out of the joint, which is why it was unstable. Now, I've been to one physical therapy appointment. Today is my second. In which case, my therapist is kind of like, uh, you can do a lot of these exercises at home. You are... She said, most of my patients, they are still on crutches a month later. I'm like, okay. I'm not a world-class athlete. I'm an old fart. I'm an old fart with chronic knee problems. But yet, two weeks after having that cleanup surgery... It's better than it was before. You're asking, because of the title, why am I spending so much time on this? Because I'm trying to give you context. Because Amari Cooper, back in January, they said, was having a routine cleanup orthoscope surgery on his foot. On his ankle. Guys. That was seven months ago. That was seven months ago. We're told it was a routine cleanup. That's basically what my knee was. To, actually, mine was a little more than just a routine cleanup. Because, okay, mine was like, you know, you have some people that keep a really nice house. It's kept nice and clean. You know, so when it's time to clean, you don't have to spend much time cleaning it. Okay? Then you've got a house that you'd have rented out to crackheads and they've destroyed and trashed the place. You got to do a whole lot more work cleaning up the house when you've had squatters up in there. Uh, you just do. You, you, it's not like a, you know, oh, we can just go in with some, you know, some tile, uh, some, some, some bleach spray and some rags and we're done. You got to blow the whole thing out and, and start all over because that shit's dirty. Well, that's my knees. My knees are the crack house knees that need a lot of work. Mari Cooper's should be that immaculate house that you give the people the deposit back. But here it is, two weeks from today, training camp starts. And it's looking like Amari Cooper will end up being on the pup list to start, that he's not ready yet. And I'm sitting here thinking because you guys saw me 
two weeks and a day ago where I could not get my knee to be able to extend fully. I could not stand on this leg two weeks and one day ago. I could not do what I am doing right now two weeks and one day ago. Seven months from now, hell, you might see me running something I haven't done in years. I'm not saying that Amari Cooper um, is going to have problems during the season, but there must be more going on here than what we're led on to believe. Seven months is a long, long time for a routine cleanup to happen. And that makes me question, was there a lot more damage than what we were led on to believe? When you think about guys that have ruptured the Achilles tendon, and in you know seven, eight, nine months, they're, they're back from that. When you think about an ACL being like a year-long type of an injury, where some guys come back sooner than that, how is it that a routine clean-out for Amari Cooper is taking this long, uh, unless there were some complications and infection and stuff. The, the thing at least made me feel good was on his Instagram seeing him um, styling, styling with you know with the tight shoes and everything else, and looking you know didn't look, if you had a swollen ankle or major surgery, you wouldn't have been able to put on the shoes that he had been had on. You, you just wouldn't have because. Your your foot would be just too big because they were like some slit. I'm like, damn, did they paint them things on there? But let's hope for the best that it's fine um, for the start of the season. Because make no mistake about it, Amari Cooper does not get enough respect um, for what he's actually accomplished out there and done on this team. It's so crazy to me that so many fans are always apt to look at somebody like Zeke and say he's ass or Dak is ass. And, you know, that, that literally, I'm like, are you looking at him versus other players in the league? Because these guys are some of the top guys in the league. Other teams would die to have these kind of players. In fact, Washington offered more money to Amari Cooper than the Cowboys did for him to be there. So, you know, I, I need to just realize that some of you guys will just never, ever be satisfied by anything that the Dallas Cowboys do. We can turn around and win the Super Bowl, and you'll say, well, we didn't win by enough points. That's how crazy some of you mother humpers are. But Amari, get that foot together, and I'm going to get up here and see my therapist because I'm trying to get this knee together because, you know, less than a month, I'll be at the Hall of Fame game. And you never know. Cowboys might be, they might see me out there in the stands. And say, oh, damn. Let's get a tryout for Mark Holmes and that turtle move out there. He's back from injury. I'm Mark Holmes, and I hope you're having a great hump day. And I'll see you soon.